Hi and welcome to my channel Insight with Raking Clairvoyance. Today we're going to be looking into October 29th, 2014. I'm going to be using the Energy Oracle cards. I call on my guides and all beings of light to help me with this reading and that everyone watching this gets a clear and accurate message for them. I'm going to be shuffling the cards and thinking of the energies for Wednesday. first card is Goddess of the Moon. So I feel like on Wednesday we really need to pay attention to the cycles in our life and to really possibly plan around those phases and to try to make the, these phases the most productive and when when I think of the moon in the phases I think with um, the full moon you know the energy is higher and more people are more stressed or have anxiety or they're just high energy and they want us to if, if it is a full moon we need to recharge and to not let these energies get the best of us, protect ourselves, and to really use that energy to put into action of the things that we've been wanting to get done. But I'm feeling also that there, I'm thinking of, you know, Halloween's coming up, so the veil is thinning, and they want us to take some time and to really meditate and use that night energy when the moon comes out to really start connecting with our ancestors and loved ones that loved ones that have passed deceit okay so i'm feeling like this has to do with this card over here about the moon and how i'm thinking of the tarot the tarot cards and how the moon has things to do with like illusions and how that can be deceitful and how we can misinterpretate some things and maybe we need to just take some time and like it in the other cards said be patient and to really trust in spirit that the things that we're not for sure about we can wait to get more information on before we make any kind of decisions or any take any too too permanent act too many permanent actions so let's see what the other card fifth chakra archangel gabriel so they really want us to stand up for ourselves and to open that fifth chakra and to really speak what's on our mind but sometimes we have to be careful about what we re what we reveal to others so i'm just feeling like the this week or this day we need to be aware of people around us and to really just be patient and see what Spirit is trying to tell us and not overreact. And if you do feel like someone is treating you disrespectfully, then you do need to speak up and tell them. But as far as... I don't feel like the deceit is like... I don't feel like it's as deep as you might think it will be. And I think that's what the the moon card came up to, like I said, give it some time and see if it's an illusion or if it's, that's really what it is. So I hope this makes sense and I thank everyone for watching.